Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to sort of a different Power Up webinar. We're calling it Ask Larry Anything, sort of a wide-ranging collection of questions that people have submitted in advance and stuff we're going to ask as part of this particular webinar, but it's on any subject, well, any subject that I've written about, and I'm looking forward to sharing some of the knowledge that I've got with you. So let's get ourselves started. We're going to get right to the questions, starting with the ones that were submitted in advance. All right, now on another question from Marlene. Let's see, go back to here, turn off the inspector, turn on this. Notice that she says, I see these yellow thingies here, which says there's clips missing. How do I fix it? All right. What this means is that there is missing video or there is a missing title or something is missing. And in almost all cases, the reason it's missing is you either deleted the file by mistake, which is way too common, or we've renamed the file or we've renamed the folder that contains it. The way that you fix that is if it's in the viewer, select the clips that have the red. You don't need to select stuff you see. That's linked. It's perfect. But I'm going to just do this to make this simple. Select the clips that are offline. Go up to the File menu. Now you have two choices. If you've selected clips that are red in the event browser, it's going to say relink event files. If you've selected clips that are red in the timeline, it's going to say relink project files. Either way, it's going to say relink. You open up the relink dialog and it says, all right, this is the ones that we're missing. Click locate and you have to find the file. Now in Final Cut 7, we had two options. We could find the file or Final Cut would look for us. Sometimes Final Cut would find it, sometimes it wouldn't. But but at least it would do an automatic search. Here we have to look for it because Final Cut 10 keeps track of the files unless we do something stupid like move it. So Final Cut says, I'm not even going to bother to look. You tell me where you moved the file and I'll reconnect it. Once you've reconnected, it shows up down here. A really good option is to be sure to check copy files into the Final Cut events folder. Because what that does is it moves the file from wherever it is into the events folder so it can be more properly tracked without the risk of it getting removed. So if you ever need to uh, relink files, select them, go up to relink, and then navigate to find them. Oh, another question. Command A, delete. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library can save you money at an incredibly low monthly price of only $19.99. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and Autodesk software. We update it every week. And for more information on what it contains and the benefits you get, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store. And thanks.